Hello and a warm welcome from the English South Coast. This has always been an atmospheric venue, Fratton Park. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Portsmouth, and they take on Queen's Park Rangers. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And this is the starting 11 for Portsmouth. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And they kick off here. Lyndon Dykes. It's with Johansson. Can he put it away? Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. And a goal has gone in in the commentary game. Here with the information, as always, is Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a goal for Coventry City. They've scored the opener here with seven minutes played. Thanks, as always, Alex. Strong play here on the shielding front. And smart defending. Stefan Johansson. Himalainen. Defensive efficiency personified. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's certainly the player to watch because his goal tally's been excellent this season. He's been a constant threat whenever he gets on the ball. His movement... He's got to score! And a goal kick it'll be. Too much height on the shot. Might be a chance here. And offside by a very small margin. Dykes. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And they need to get tighter here. And let's give credit to the defending. Stefan Johansson. Nicely timed tackle. Just not looking confident in possession. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. All hands on deck. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely.
Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Into the advanced position. Options in the middle. And a strong tackle. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Can he finish? Oh, he's found the net, and that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted, and just what they deserve. Well, here it is again, and it was never really in doubt, was it? He was always going to score from there. Well, a second goal for them here. Right, it's time to head over to Alex because there's been a goal in the Swansea game. It's a goal for Preston North End. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 34 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. Moving the ball effectively. Moses Odubadjo. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Good physical play. And possession lost, intercepted. Well, approaching half time on the home side, very much in charge here, Stuart. Your thoughts? Well, they've played some really good football up to now. In particular, the way they've got it into their front players has been excellent. I've also liked the movement of the strikers. They just now need to take this forward into the second half. And well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Setting off perhaps a look. Can he put it away? Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. Chair. Chris Willock. And keeping it on the ground. Slightly off target, however. <laughs> what about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Body in the way. Nice and easy for the keeper. The first half here comes to an end. Substitution for Queen's Park Rangers. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Number 16, Charlie Kellerman. Thomas. They're making high pressing work for them here. Chris Willock. And the counter attack is on. Options available. Could be threatening. Well, spot on with that challenge. Can he convert? A 
goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Portsmouth taking on Birmingham City. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. And they need to get tighter. He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And winning it back. Well, let's send it over to Alex Scott because something has happened, Alex, in the Burnley game. It's a number for Burnley. It's now 2-1 with 56 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. He could pick out a teammate. They do pass the ball with authority. Fruitful looking attack. Teammate available. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And they could face difficulties here. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Queen's Park Rangers versus Barnsley. Can they create something from here? Really important piece of last-ditch defending. On news of a goal in the Coventry game, let's find out who's found the net by joining Alex. Yep, a second one now for Coventry City. They're ahead by two now, with 67 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Able to get a body in the way. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Twenty minutes remaining. Well, oh, that's a splendid piece of challenging. This might be ideal for the counter. Opportunity in the wide area. It's opening up for them. And quite simply... wide of the target and a double substitution it's going to be well we're inside the final quarter of an hour now in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here a genuine opportunity but it was squandered goal kick on the cusp of the final whistle and they're making home advantage count but only just Stuart your thoughts well for much of this match they've controlled the tempo of the game and deserved their lead
but this is going to be a frantic finale. They just need to defend their box really well here. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Can't miss, surely! Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out the danger. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be opportunistic at this stage of the game. And taken away. Himalayan. Chair. Will he play it in? Dangerous looking attack. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Late drama here. And no wonder they're celebrating. Remarkable. Well, just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Chris Willock. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. Jimmy Dunn. Options in the middle. And a goal kick will be next. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number 22, Moses Adubajo, coming onto the pitch. Number 2, Osman Kake. Warner. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Can they forge ahead? Well, really lacking composure, and he couldn't beat the keeper. Well, that's a big moment, and he's completely messed it up. Good-looking sequence, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And the final whistle.